We're living on a disc floating through space with a tiny sun. Hey guys, I'm Craig. Welcome back to Fight the Flat Earth. Um, today I'm doing another interview with an ex-flat earther. i um, speaking to a guy called Blue. Um, would you like to introduce yourself and just uh, tell people a little bit about yourself? Hi. Uh, peace. May the Tao give peace to you. Uh, my name is Blue. Um, thanks for having me on. You're welcome. I am an ex-flat earther. Oh, I am a YouTuber. I'm not very open about this, but heck, might as well just get it out in the open. Uh, I completely agree. Um, what was the first thing that kind of got you into Flat Earth in the first place? Well, when you're an ex, well, when you're a first time Christian, a lot of first time Christians these days, they misinterpret Genesis 1 when they say firmament. Firmament doesn't mean a dome. It, it, they didn't have a word for space, so they just came up with a term. That's from my understanding. Um, okay, and uh, was, was that what made you think about Flat Earth in the first place? Yes, and my ignorance of science. Okay, um, and would you? Physics. What would you say was it that cemented your belief in the flat Earth? That, that was the thing that made you think, yes, this is true. Take a wild guess of who's the most what well-known YouTuber. Um, Jaronism. Nope. There's there's many of them. Eric Dubay. Right. Yes. Okay. Um. So, uh, Eric DeBay's videos uh, and the things that he was saying, like his 200 proofs, um, was that things that you agreed with? At the time, yes. Okay. Um, so, when you were um, a flat earther, what, what was your experience within the flat earth community? Um, most of it was online. And when there... I'm like this, I get bored if there's not enough evidence, and their only evidence was the Bible or silly experiments that they could do with pretty much anything. They have a child, they have like a childlike mentality with physics and astrophysics and all that stuff. Okay, um, did you have any um, like it, good or bad interactions with other flat earthers? Um, they didn't like the fact I was not all the way a flat earther. I was still open-minded, and that's where they got a lot of conflicts from me. Okay, so you were willing to ask questions that they made Yes, weren't? Okay. I'm not the typical. <laughs> um, and then, okay, so what were your experience as a flat earther? Um, what was your experience like talking to Globers? I thought... For a while, for like, I thought they were wrong. But, and then I started questioning myself. And then I came across, I've never heard of Neil deGrasse Tyson until mm, 2017. And then he re he came out with a book around the same, and he has a chapter on how it's round, I believe. Okay. Yes. Let me double. Ch I ha it's been a while since I've read this. Yep. It you know then. Yep, on being round, chapter eight of 
Astrophysics for people in a hurry. Okay, um, so reading things like Neil deGrasse Tyson, do you think that helped increase your, your understanding of the physics of everything? I am still shaky on physics. I'm still new to learning physics. I'm, I'm not going to claim I know everything about physics. I... Do you feel that you know enough to, 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 to confirm to yourself that the Earth is definitely a globe? Yes. Okay. Um, is there any of the that physics in particular that, that you could tell me? Well, I want to add it through a simple way. I took a, a round object, like let's say a baseball, shot, took a flashlight, and then it showed a Cir like a circle shadow yes yeah. spherical and then when I, and then it just like it's almost like a sw switches went off in my head and i'm like oh my god the earth is not flat that's that's brilliant i, I like to hear that there's actually something that it, you could see with your own, own mind and conceptualize and help you come to that understanding. Um, so during your time um, as a flat earther, um, uh, you, you would have spoken to other flat earthers. Do you know of any flat earthers that are frauds or kind of just in it for the money? In my opinion, Eric Dubay is in it for the money. Um, you know, his channel was recently taken down no yeah um it was removed for terms of conditions um i'm not sure of the the exact reasons but um his, his channel is not there at the moment um how do you feel about that this is news to me uh, it, does that make you happy i believe in freedom of speech basically i don't i don't condemn anyone that is a flat earther i just wish they could just wake up Okay. And know the actual physics and the astrophysics of everything. The whole thing about physics is eye-opening. Okay. Um, so, at what point did you start to doubt the Flat Earth? Um, uh, was it after reading that book? Uh, was there anything in you know specifically that, that made you think that, yeah, it's definitely not flat? Well, first it was the science that one that one experiment I did with the baseball and the flashlight, and yeah. it gave like a spherical uh, shadow. Nothing else in particular that 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 like helped you cement the the. the yes, thing? there there was. Simon Dan and Professor Stick. <laughs> both excellent YouTubers. I, I agree. I 100% agree. Yes. Um, for me, both of them, uh, almost an inspiration is the reason why I started my channel. So, yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Um, the way that they want to help people understand science is a great thing, in my opinion. Um, okay, so once you decided that you weren't a flat earther, um, what was the reaction from other flat earthers? Well, that's easy. They were... <laughs> very not happy. It's like... It's like someone in a trance and you're trying to wake them up. It's like... You're telling the actual stuff. You're saying... Earth is not flat. It cannot be. I would give X, Y, and Z, and they would like, oh, are you now bought off by this X, Y, Z or company or corporation? Most notably, NASA. So they they call fake. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I encounter that quite a lot myself. Um. So, would you have any advice for people that are 
not sure about the nature of, of Earth and could are maybe thinking that it's flat and are looking into things. Open up your mind. Stop thinking it's absolute. Read an actual phys physics book, an astronomy book, anything with space, and in fact science, with an open mind. And me personally, I believe it's a, a part of a failed education system. Did you, um, do you feel like you've lost any friends that, that you'd made during your time in the flat earth community? Yes. Um, and, and I wish them nothing but the best. Would you only the best? Would you try to help them or are they not open to they, it? I don't think they will talk to me. That's, that's a shame. Um, I, I never like people to, to lose, to lose friends. Um, but hopefully there there's more friends that you can make uh you know um you've you've got your you know that's pretty much all the questions that, that i had for you and it's actually been quite an enlightening talk with you um the only things i really want to ask now is uh, you you've got your own youtube channel um do you yes. have any plans for that you know what, what now for you i am going to switch more toward i'm going to keep video games but I'm also going to be doing like science in the upcoming weeks. What's the name of your YouTube channel? Um, it's what I gave to you, Blue okay. Al Otaku. Excellent. Well, I'll make sure that that's linked in the description for everybody so that they can go and sub to you. And and I'm glad to hear that you know, it's opened up your interest in physics as well. Um, yes. And, and let me give you. A shout out to Sign Mandan and Professor Stick. Thank you for changing my life. Thank you for finally opening up my eyes. I will make sure that they get that. Um, I really, really appreciate you taking the time to talk to me. Yes. And I wish you all the best. Yes. And, and to you Flat Earthers, just because I was not very active in the community doesn't mean I was fake. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. We're living on a disc floating through space with a tiny sun. Oh,